Welcome to Coffee with Clover, another segment of the 12 months 12 dinner party series. It's the most wonderful time of the year, it's Christmas time. And after cooking for you for 11 months, I am super tired, so I've decided to invite the best of the best. And so I found Chef Karima. Here she is, and Chef Karima will be preparing Christmas dinner for us today. Chef, welcome. Hi, how are you? I do appreciate you you're coming. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, so can you tell us what are you going to be doing today? We're going to be doing uh, turkey, prime rib, um, a honey uh, soy sauce um, salmon, and stuffing, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, rice, you know, the regular fixings. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're going to be so doing. So for today. the sake of our viewers, let's let us get started. All right. So you're going to do the turkey first yes. and we want to know how you do it. Well, first off, we washed our turkey and our prime rib. So we washed it, okay? Yes, <laughs> another way. Yes. So now we're just going to do a basic seasoning. Some sage, some ground sage, some ground thyme and um, marjoram, um, some fresh thyme. Rosemary, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley, salt, and pepper. Simple. Okay. And a little bit of olive oil just to make it all nice and right. moisty. All powdered seasoning. Okay. All powdered seasoning. We can also put an um, uh, onion. You can have other things in there too, like we can put fresh onion, okay. which I am going to do. But for now, just the dry seasoning okay. to get it going. To get it going. And, yeah. Okay. So first we do the oil. We're, we're going to do the oil a little bit just to okay. have a little moistness for the dry seasonings to have like okay. a nice rub on it. And I notice you're leaving the turkey in the pan as you season it. What? Yes, because it's going to go in the pan. Okay. So why not leave it in the pan? <laughs> Start it in the pan, leave it in the pan. Start it in the pan, leave it in the pan, you know. Okay. Do some... That's garlic seasoning. This is garlic, yep. I'm going to turn it over. So do we do the cavity or...? I do the cavity as okay. well, yeah. Okay. I, I like everything well seasoned. Okay. So... I'm just gonna turn it like so. <laughs> oh, and then you. And then, and then eventually, my hand's gonna go in there. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so that's the garlic. Do that again with the onion powder. Stick it in there too. What about the 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 neck and stuff that we take we took out from the cavity? Oh, it's not in here. Well, I don't know what oh, to do with the neck. Okay. <laughs> we put the neck it over. It must have gone in the garbage. <laughs> Having help today, I'm so grateful that Chef Karima was able to come. No problem. Do that. And what, what, which one is this? This is um, the sage, okay. the thyme, um, all ground down, you know? Oh, okay. So we're just gonna rub it, rub in. it in. Do yeah. we have to let it marinate or? Yes, okay. well, you should. Okay. Just so it can get into the, the meat a little bit. Mm -hmm. You wanna have it marinated. Uh, four hours. To 20 to over overnight so we're gonna be here for a long time because we need this bird to cook thoroughly right. but then there's the magic of TV right, All right. Yes, okay exactly. <laughs> so this is gonna sit nicely like I said I'm gonna add an onion and put inside but um but for now you just get in there that's why you have on gloves right get in there and voila wow. If you don't mind, can you have me a piece of thyme, a couple pieces of thyme? Yes. No, no. This one is? Yeah. Okay. The other one was rosemary. Rosemary, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to put some of that in there. Will you crush it or just put it no, in there? I'm just going to put it in. Okay. And um, clover. Can you put salt? To... Yes, we are going to put some salt and pepper. Okay. Switch gloves. All right. That one goes in the garbage. In the garbage. I'm going to do some salt and pepper. I don't cook with a lot of salt. I, me neither. So I'm not going to put too much. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it gets in there. Right. And some pepper. I'm going to have to turn it over with the other glove. But what I want to do, I want to get a piece of onion. Mm. And stick in there. I, I should have had this prepared, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we have all the time home. 
We're home, so we have all the time. All right. So just peel your onion really quickly. All right. Music. <laughs> right? It's the most wonderful time. And then we'll just put on the gloves here. Surgeon. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn this over. Wow. I can smell, it's smelling good already. Can you, I don't wanna touch the. Oh, okay. This. Okay, just do this, no problem. Yeah. yeah, thank you. All over? Yeah, just all over and then okay. do it with the black pepper as well. I know my craft, but with you I'm nervous because well, you no, know better than me. Do not. <laughs> People say that all the time. I don't know why, no. You are fine. Mm -hmm. You you cook all the time, right? Did Dinner's you? gonna taste so good today. Can you do it with, the, with the black pepper? Okay. I'm right-handed. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. All right, we're good. That's enough? Yep. We're just gonna okay. rub in the... And if you, it's gonna go in, in the in the pot or in the bowl at the bottom, just take some and, and rub this, it. Yep. So we don't need to baste it, right? No? Not right now, because we put the olive oil on it, right? So you don't have to baste it yet. Stick your onion oh, okay. in there. You don't have to put it in there, you could put it around, you could do a whole and bunch And you don't of have to cut it either? You don't have to cut it. Okay. I just put it in there. Yeah, yeah. Because it's gonna, gonna get that nice um, aroma mm. of, the, of the onion. Mm -hmm. You could put all of this stuff in there. I don't like to really stuff a turkey. I like to put it around, but the mm -hmm. onion, I don't mind because it's cooking, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so we have the stuffing on the side. Cause I don't like to cook turkey with stuffing in it. Other people do, I don't, but you know. All right, so that's that on the turkey. So we're gonna, like I said, let it marinate mm -hmm. for four hours. So the turkey so will marinate for four hours and then when we come back, we'll show you when it's done. Exactly. All right. So we cover this and move it away. Yes. We're on to preparing the next dish and take us through it, Chef Karima. This is prime rib. Oh my gosh. So this recipe is very simple. It's not a lot of stuff going in it, but I normally like to season a lot like put a lot of seasonings in it but you really don't need a lot on this pepper black pepper salt onion powder garlic powder Dijon mustard and beer good to go you could add a little bit of thyme and rosemary awesome so let's get going the beer is gonna add more flavor oh my gosh so much flavor all right I don't even drink beer so mm -hmm. but it tastes good and cool. right. it's like cooking like with, with wine right right so right. Well, I guess the heat kills the alcohol yeah, content, a bit, yeah. right? But it, it's a nice um, liquid to marinate it. Mm -hmm. So if, if you don't want to do that, if you're afraid or if it's against your religion No, anything, we're using it! Well, well some people just tell into okay. people. <laughs> if it's against your religion or anything, you could just use uh, stock. Beef stock. stock, chicken, vegetable. So we're going to marinate this one? We're going to marinate in, in, the, in the beer. We're going to use... We're not going to show... We're going to show them? We can show them. You want to show? That's the brand we're using. Cool. Corona. Corona in such a time. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> so yeah. Again, I'm not a big salt person, right? So I'm just doing it on one side because I don't want to dirty up the gloves too much. And then, so that was the garlic, that was onion powder. This is the garlic powder. Okay. Some dry parsley, right? Not a lot. And the Dijon. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I caught it. Save the day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best ingredients. Oh. All right. And then I'm just gonna rub it and then do the other side. Okay. All right. Rub that in there. And marinate for how long? I did it for four hours before I um okay. before I put it in the oven. Okay. If you want, you, you, could, you could go longer Overnight. like with, with the turkey. Yeah. Because they both take about two to three hours anyway, depending on the size. Always depending on the size of your turkey or your prime rib or beef in general. Then it would um depend on how many hours and your oven as well. I have a convection oven, so it's a little different. It cooks a uh, little Quicker. No need to add any form of browning in this? No, no you okay. don't because um, remember it's, uh, it is beef so it's going to 
bring out its own juices yeah. along with the beer, right? Right. So we're just gonna get in there. Oh, clover, can you add some more black pepper and salt? Sure. Okay. On this side? It's Thank you. this way? Yeah, that way. Thank you. And black pepper? One. Yes, black pepper. That's good. That's okay. Good. And, and a little bit of the salt. salt. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Nice. So we're just gonna roll it in the beer. Do we cover it after? Yes, yeah. uh, with a plastic wrap. Okay. And then this, let it sit, let it absorb the juices. It's pretty easy. Th that's yeah. it. Yeah. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a seasoning. I like okay. to season everything and go over the top a little bit. Right. I did this recipe. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything else. This is it. The beer, I think, is what took it to the top. Okay. It made it taste so much better. Okay. But yeah, just garlic powder, onion powder. Cover it, Cover set it. aside. Salt and pepper. And then you put it in the oven. And then uh, you how put it. Cook at 425? 425, depending on your oven. So 425, two to three hours. I, if, it depends on if you want it medium rare, medium well. Or well done. Or well done. This is prime rib. I wouldn't say well done, I would say well. Mm -hmm. Because when you take it out, it's gonna sit and then it's gonna continue to cook. So it mm -hmm. will get to well done or it'll get to Even medium well or it'll get okay. to wherever you want it to get to. Okay. But don't leave it in the oven too well done. Take it out and so then- Let it sit. Let it sit. Before serving. Yeah, before serving, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's good to know. You're welcome. Yeah. It's good to hear. I, I, know, I know something- I would have overcooked it. No, 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 don't overcook it. Don't mm -hmm. overcook it. So. This piece, I would say two hours, one and a half to two hours mm -hmm. to get to well, take mm -hmm. it out. And then, yeah. Okay, good. So that's it for prime rib. We move on to the next one. Moving on to the next dish, Chef Karima, what are we making now? We are making a ricotta spinach stuffed shells. Just because that's what we want. We just want that. And so. it's Christmas. So you can have extra. whatever you want on Christmas. Okay, so we're gonna we have our pasta sauce already made. We have our spinach. We have the ricotta cheese. You can make your own pasta sauce. You can get your pasta sauce. Whatever you want to do. Any spinach and ricotta. So ricotta doesn't have any real taste to it. So I like to season the ricotta before I add it to anything else. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Again, our black pepper. A little bit. If you have white pepper, white pepper, you can use that as well. A right. little bit. That's it of the salt. So it doesn't have salt in it at all. I, do you know what? I don't. Some do, but mm -hmm. this one, I, I don't know. So okay. I didn't put a lot. Okay. And we're gonna just add some onion powder. Not too much. Some garlic powder. So we're seasoning the ricotta. We're seasoning the ricotta, and just some dry parsley, just because. We feel like it. <laughs> right, mix it up. Then we're gonna add the spinach to it. Give it some green. We could have had another ingredient if we wanted to. You could right? add roasted peppers, you could add anything. Mm -hmm. Anything you want, anything mm -hmm. you like mm -hmm. to stuff into your shells, you could do, right? So, yeah, that's it. Um, I put a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of the pan, the dish here. And that's it. Yeah, this is simple. It's very simple and it doesn't take long in the oven. 350, 375 for about two, 10, 10, 10, minutes. 10, minutes. 10 minutes. Just, yeah. just for the cheese. And if you want, you could add some one step at a time cream. <laughs> She'll show you after. <laughs> so you're the, stuffing it. Right? So we're just gonna just stuff it. And now you could get fancy and put it in a piping bag. Mm. We don't have a piping bag. That's too bag. much work. We don't have one. <laughs> so we're just gonna stuff it with a spoon. Okay. Right? And we're just gonna lay it out like that. Do a few. So you don't need to taste. You just use you your discretion you know in putting in the seasoning in. I, I do because I, I I'm that person. <laughs> but if you want here, what I find when you're in here. the kitchen a lot, you kind of know no, after a no. while. That's okay, right? Your instinct tell you put a little more stuff there. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. That's flavor. I say um, there's there's a meme that says your ancestors tell you when to stop. Okay. <laughs> so my ancestors told me when to stop. <laughs> no more people, no more. 
So we're just gonna stuff some, and then I'm just gonna put some sauce on it so y'all can see. Because this is just gonna And then we finish the rest mm. behind the scenes. Right, exactly. Because our turkey is baking. Yes. And our, our prime rib. It's baked. Oh. Okay. And we made, um, don't forget, we made the um, honey soy sauce salmon. So yeah, that's the salmon's baking. next. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna show you the finished product because <laughs> it's delicious. Okay. And then, yeah, so I'm just gonna add some sauce onto there. So once the sauce go on, once the sauce, and if you down. want, if you didn't want to use the um, olive oil at the bottom, you could put some sauce at the bottom, right? Oh. So that's what we'll do, just to finish it off. Okay, so on when the other it, side. On the other side. Okay. And then, um, if you like extra cheese, some fresh parmesan on there. Mm. Mm. Delicious. And there you to go. Top it all and off. just bake it off for about ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So preheat your oven, bake it off ten minutes, and you're okay. good to go. There you go. Uh, so it's stuffed shells. Yes. With ricotta and spinach. There you go. Next dish, what is it, Chef Karima? This is a honey soy sauce salmon with lemon. Right. Honestly, I don't, so it's already plated as you can see. I used a nice seafood uh, seasoning. Get that in any store. So just a seafood blend, right? And honey and soy sauce. No salt because the salt is in the soy sauce, mm -hmm. the sodium is in the soy sauce. And Baked it for 15 minutes at 375. We're just gonna finish the rest of the sauce on top. The rest of the sauce on top. Ooh. We garnished with some parsley, some fresh parsley, and some lemon, and that's it. Wow, this that's is very it. easy. An easy yeah. dish. A salmon fish cooks fast. fast. Yeah. Most fish do. You don't really need to take um, more than 20 minutes. You're good. I can't wait to dive into the this. Same thing. When you take it out of the oven, let it sit. And then it'll cook some more, right? Mm -hmm. So even if you even if you cook it for 15 minutes and it's not the wellness that you want, it'll rest and it'll continue to cook. Oh, right? Okay, so I, I didn't know that before. So for anything you're cooking, is it your meat kind? Always take it out before. Except for chicken, any okay. poultry, no, no. Cook that till it's done. Oh. Cook it till it's finished. Okay. Whatever size it is, mm -hmm. follow the instructions to your oven and cook your poultry mm -hmm. and your pork all the way not dry all the way though mm -hmm. you know what i mean all the way through. but for salmon for fish and beef mm -hmm. some people like their their salmon a little on the rare side oh yeah some people oh not me. <laughs> <laughs> never had it like that <laughs> no have you ever had um smoked salmon yeah it's oh yeah smoked. it's smoked it's, it's, it's not, not cooked, cooked it, but it's smoked right? so smoked. yeah so um but this one 15 minutes 375 simple recipe okay and it tastes so good that's it salmon for Christmas Yay! <laughs> so clover <laughs> found clover brand Canadian honey so premium clover honey Canadian. it was ideal yeah namesake so Works hey well. sponsor eh? clover clover <laughs> <laughs> be made okay <laughs> and that's it that's the honey of choice
after so many hours, dinner is finally going to be served. Yes. So this is a magic created by Chef Karima. So Chef Karima, what are we going to do right now? So we we're going to add some Gouda over the stuffed shells it's because we like extra cheese. That's extra, all. Extra, and we extra do, cheese. We don't need to put it back in the oven. No, no. you could if you want to, but no, it'll just melt. Wow. Right? Just a little bit of extra cheese over that, like so. Okay. And then I'm just going to put some gravy On over the turkey. turkey. Wow. I can't wait. Everyone's drooling behind the scene if you could only see them. We're just going to do it like this and just call that one. Oh my god. So no need for that gravy boat because it. Eh, nah. It's Soaking up it's soaking it up. The prime rib is ready. The turkey's ready. If you want to go grab the salmon, so it could be yeah, amongst a, all the food. This is a plain rice, mashed potato. Yes, garlic mashed potato. Yeah, butter on top. Stuffing and a nice stuffing. Um, cracker bread stuffing. She showed me how to do that with the crackers. Oh my gosh, so good. A nice garden salad, cranberry sauce, stuffed shells. Uh, like what, what more do you need? What more do you need? Hungry Tommy's and we're all drooling and we can't wait to dive in. So stick around for dinner. Let's wow. try it. Into the mashed potato. I'm gonna try the shells. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Ah! I'm drooling. I can't wait to get it in my mouth. Before. It doesn't want to. Mmm. 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 -hmm. The prime rib tastes so 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 good. And I'm not kidding. Let's try the salmon. The honey soy sauce salmon. Mm. That flavor. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not a lot. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Eating your hair. <laughs> mm. Try the um the shells. Mm -hmm. My goodness. We need a community to come and eat. Yeah, right? Season was good. Right, so that's why I like to season ricotta cheese because mm -hmm. if we didn't, it'd only be tasting like just a sauce, right? Now time for the turkey. Try the turkey. Try the breast. See how nice and moist it cooks? Yeah, it's so moist. So soft. You try the stuffing? Mm, it's not dry. It's moist. Mm-hmm. I could not have done this without you. Honestly. Oh, you're welcome. Honestly. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm pleased. Chef Karima. If you need her, if you have, if you're having a function and you want to take the trouble and the hassle out of hosting, Chef Karima, call Chef Karima. She will cater to your needs. And if you can find me on Instagram at I am Chef Karima. And you have food in your hair. Lady. Oh my goodness! If I'm with eating it? my hair. <laughs> food is so good. <laughs> uh, Pumper Tom is behind the scene, not waiting to devour. So. Well, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Hope you all have an enjoyable holiday show over some of your meals. Merry Christmas, 
and a happy new year. Dinner is served. Thanks for watching 12 months, 12 dinner party. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, you didn't eat that sugar? No, that's okay. Mm. It's so, oh it's God. soft to the touch. <laughs> and it's like it's melting in your mouth. Why don't you imagine it? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. all the time. Oh my gosh. Are you still filming? Yes! <laughs> <laughs>